Juan Sang and uh, Mario uh, Rostrand. And uh, Frank, thank you, Frank. Frank, you know, the construction, and Mario also do the construction and the uh, way dividing the programming uh, to three parts. I do the programming for the grain, and uh, uh, Frank do the programming for the uh, electronic sensor and uh, Mario do the construction of the program and we decide the concept together. All in on all of that form. Together. <laughs> and uh, first, we sh uh, the instructions is uh, include the pro uh, problem statement and the motivation and uh, um, Frank Frank just uh, instruct uh, how we, we want the robots want to do and uh, we, we do the we like the electronic sensors to detect uh, which one is the closest uh, obstacle and uh, then it will go through to the closest one and then it will pick it up and go somewhere we want it, and then it, it will do the loop to do the next one. So... Okay, basically, um, as Juan said, uh, the purpose of the project is so that we can devise something, a type of robot that can be used industrially to transfer objects from one place to another. Whether this area, whether this purpose is because it's a, you know, a toxic area or something radioactive which a person would not normally be able to handle a forklift. Um, the, the prototype basically can become an intelligent transporting robot that would automatically move loads in a warehouse and from one place to another. We want we wanna to experiment with what we had basically and find all the different challenges that it would incur in doing that. The ILT was basically programmed ultimately so that it'll grab a package or load, literally grab the package, transport it to another location, come back, scan for the next closest object it determines, and then keep looking as it would loop. Uh, I want to add to, to this explanation also that uh, several of the problems that we run into uh, is not having the exact proper parts that we would like to have for this type of project. For example, we couldn't find a clamp that would actually Ripper. opens bigger than this distance here. So if this is a load, as you can see, we are going to have to be very accurate in programming so that the robot actually uh, grabs the, the, the load. Uh, it could happen that uh, in some cases, uh, because of the lack, lack, lack of uh, uh, Amplitude accuracy of, opening. accuracy of the, of the servos that we use, it, it doesn't keep the exact track and the, it could fail, uh, reach the object right in the center. The conceptual designs were basically trying to adapt the original Bobot uh, platform with, uh, with the gripper that uh, we see in the picture. Um, we also, we basically, uh, as we follow the components that we use for the Bobot platform, a ping uh, ultrasonic sensor, which is a low cost method to obtain and measure distances from one point to another, um, a, br a mounting bracket, which in essence is just a small little plate to mount the ping sensor, and a rotating servo, which rotates to a max of 180 degrees. That way it'll be able to scan in a particular area. Um, the little grip attachment uh, with servos and then these will be combined into the platform as you can see there and custom parts were also needed to be fabricated as you can see there's kind of like uh, some things jimmy rigged in there which are not you know screwed or whatnot but we had to work with what we had at the moment due to the lack of time and some parts did not make it in time that we wanted some bracketing, so we had to just do what we could with what we had. This is the final model, as you can see from the, from the design on the table. And uh, we're going we're gonna to run the, some videos. Conclusion. Uh, Read the conclusion. Uh, okay, as a conclusion, we, we were able to actually construct and finally test the, the programs uh, and uh, in that case we, we reinforce also what we learned in the, in the, in the class with Professor Dr. Uh, Sonovo and uh, we, we are really satisfied 
with uh, the result that we, that we obtained uh, despite the difficulties and the uh, lack of uh, very highly uh, uh, components that we would like to have in the, if we were going to improve this project. And uh, that's it. Uh, now we're going to run some uh, videos that we... Do you have any questions or comments before? I see you all want to just leave. <laughs> all right, say when. Well, I'll show you the video in the meantime. Sorry for the quality of the video, but. At this point, the program loops again. Uh, not as close as we wanted to. For the purpose of the video, basically, we only did two loops. You could put as many as you want, or you could just do an endless loop.